I know, I'm crazy, but it was so much fun. I've had Hi, my name is Michelle and I talk books and today we are talking about Midnight Sun and the whole point of this video is to get you to go read Midnight Sun. If you're watching this, I don't think I have to convince you that hard. <laughs> I think you are just wanting that to see it's worth it done. and that all 672 pages are worth it. And I'm here to tell you that it's worth it. That's my job. So I'm gonna do this. This is gonna be a very quick video. I'm gonna give you some highlights, some things that I loved about it, and then tell you to go read it. That's all. Because I think before we start a huge book like this, we always wanna to be told like, is it good enough? Because it's an investment. It's an investment in our time. But I loved it, but I also loved all her books. I'm gonna give you a little bit of history. Back in the day when Twilight came out in 2005, I had two daughters. One was 14, the other one was only 10. I didn't want them to read it. Now, my older daughter did read them. But I was like scared, vampires were scary. And I'm like, no, 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 they can't read about vampires. It's gonna taint them somehow. Yeah, I saw the movies. And then I read the books and I was like, wow, Stephanie Meyer is a genius. And of course, my daughters always remind me I tried to prevent them from reading it. And it's true, I did. But you read this book and I was reminded about how much of a genius she is. I don't care what anyone says and I've seen so much criticism on her writing and I don't get it. I read a lot of books and I know this is considered YA, but I read a lot of books and her writing is spot on. In the beginning of the book though, I just had to give a little chuckle because we're going from Edward's story, okay? So, you know, we have Twilight and this is Edward's Twilight. It's just that book that she decided to do Edward's perspective. And you know, before we even get started with all of that, I wanna send you guys over, I'm gonna put it up on my screen to this YouTube channel called Storybook. I loved her videos. If you wanna know more, about the history of Twilight, go to the, go watch her videos. I learned so much about the history and I don't even wanna get into that. This is just about telling you to go read the book. She will go into the history for you. So I just wanna give a shout out to her. I'll put the link below. I watched the movie, I read Twilight, and I read this one at the same time. Yes, I'm crazy, but I wanted to see, I wanted to see her, Stephanie's path to this book. So I read a lot of pages and well, I listened to Midnight Sun, read Twilight, and then watched the movie. I know, I'm crazy, but it was so much fun. I've had such a fun week with this. I did not want to put it down. So this is Edward's story. Twilight was Bella's story. But what I loved about Edward's story, what if I had a boyfriend like Edward? Never mind the vampire stuff. This guy loved her. And when you watch the movie, if you never read Twilight, you're not understanding what his problem is. You, in the movie, you're like, why is he being such a jerk? I don't even understand his problem. And then, you, <laughs> and then you read this book and you find out about how obsessed he is with her. I wanted a boyfriend to be that obsessed with me. I don't know about you guys, but I would have been a pretty happy teenager if I would have had a guy that felt the way Edward did about Bella. Just saying, it would have been awesome. Everybody compares this book to Fifty Shades. I don't really get it. I stopped myself from watching any videos on it because supposedly there are videos that put them side by side and I've read all of Fifty Shades, but I don't want to, I don't want to. I, comment below, do you want to do that? I don't want to do that. I really don't. I want, want this to be different and separate. Love them equally for different reasons. I don't want them to be the same book. I really don't. And just my opinion, let me know if, how you feel because I just, I'm not interested in them being the same. Like I said, this is the fifth book of hers, but what I wanna talk about is the quotes. I went through all the quotes in this book. I went on Goodreads, there are some fan pages. Stephanie Meyer knows a quote. She is amazing. First of all, I will give you one little tidbit of history that I learned from Storybook that I did not know. So on June 3rd, 2003, and I think that's the right date. I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong, but I think that's the right date. Stephanie Meyer has a dream and she wakes up for, and she can't get rid of it. She goes about her day. She does everything she's supposed to do. She's a mom, she's doing everything, but this dream just stays with her and with her. She puts the kids to bed. She sits down, she writes this book. Supposedly she wrote chapter 13 of Twilight 
first and then she went back. So her dream was chapter 13. Of course, she was a writer. How amazing is that? And that these books and the movies have done, gone on to be something out of this world, literally out of this world. I love that. I love that story and I love that June 2nd, 2003. I don't know what I said, but it's June 2nd. Let me give you the first line of the story. It's up on your screen. This was the time of day when I wished I were able to sleep. So this is our first introduction into Edward and his life. And he's talking about sleep because we know from the other books that vampires don't sleep, right? I thought, God, Stephanie, you are such a genius. I mean, this takes you right in. It's like, boom, we're Edward. He, he's in school. That's why he's talking about, you know, this is the first time of the day I wish I were able to sleep because he's in school. So it's funny and it's, it has so much meaning. Her titles have so much meaning. Her covers have so much meaning. That's what I love about her ever, because as a reader, that's what I want. I want everything to mean something. I really do. I don't know, comment below. Do you like that? I love that. I love when everything makes sense. And in her world, everything has a reason. It's thought out. It's just like J.K. Rowling with Harry Potter. It's thought out. She's in the world. She takes you into the world. You don't care that he's a vampire. You don't care he's a monster, which is what he calls himself. My favorite line, which is also up on your screen, oh, and also I'm wretchedly in love with you. Right there. I'm like, yes, that was my, that was my high school. I'm wretchedly in love with you. I love that. I love that she writes YA like that because it takes us back. I I know <laughs> this one boy in high school that I was wretchedly in love with did not feel that same way about me. When I read it, I was like, I've been there. I know how that feels. Unfortunately, it wasn't so reciprocated, but that's, that's okay. I'm 55 now, we're over this, right? I don't know. When you're this age and you go back and you read these YA novels, you're you're right there. You're right back there. I know I am, and I'm sure you guys are so, too. So, I don't know, did I convince you to read it? Let me know below. Did I tell you? Did my excitement come through? I have to move on with my life. I have to read other books, and I'm so unhappy about that <laughs> at the moment. And I have lots of good books to go on to. I really do, the ones that I'm excited about. It's hard to put this one down, and, and supposedly, according to storybooks videos, uh, we have another five years till we get another one. And you know, I used to think that this could be a movie but I told you in my last video I have changed my mind this can be a movie please please to the gods of the movies or the powers that be let this be a movie please let me know what you think press like if you've made it this far and you like my video please press like and please subscribe if you're not already subscribed and until my next video